So you had um, an ex who told some pretty wild stories to cover up his cheating. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. My ex lied about having cancer so that he could have a whole other girlfriend and like multiple side girlfriends. Wow. Yeah. He was at my birthday. He told me he had bone cancer. And I obviously like believed him. Like, and he had like shaved his hair off or whatever. And I was just like, okay. And he was at my birthday and he tries to say that he feels sick and that he needs to go home. When I ended up discovering what happened, it was actually that he was going to see his other girlfriend um, who she had no idea of the cancer. They had been together longer. Um, and she was actually the main one, the one that had met the family and all that. And then it, when I really started to click on, I was sus about it because I was like, oh, like, do you want me to come along to appointments? Like this kind of thing. Um, and I really confirmed that it was a lie when he, because you can't accuse someone of lying about that really. It's kind of hard. So I, yeah. when, he, when he then said I've got skin cancer, then I was like, oh, fuck. It doesn't just change. And yeah. Like, no, I never said I had bone cancer. And I was like, you literally said you did. And bone cancer is like apparently the most painful cancer that you can have. Yeah. Like well, one. and he said he had like his, it was in his back and then he had a bad back and whatever. Like I remember it. And I'm like, it's it yeah, never you, skin cancer. You remember him telling you that. Yeah. Cause it's like a cause, very pivotal right. moment. Right. And it was funny because he, we were out, I was outside tanning and I was like, do you want to sunbathe with me? And he was like, oh, I can't take my shirt off because of my my skin cancer and I was like huh like bizarre um and then so then I when I got sus was when he used to send me like videos of um whatever he was just doing during the day like that mm -hmm. was this thing kind of like snapchatting or whatever mm -hmm. but he would just send me things and I was at work one night and he was like not sending videos so I was like hmm so I asked him what he's up to and he's like oh yeah I'm with my friend whatever his name was and he was like you, if you don't believe me like there was obviously a bit more conversation between it. But if you don't believe me, like, you can go through my phone. And this was on the phone, so I was, like, not going to tell him, oh, yeah, I want to go through it with your phone because then I'm giving him an opportunity to, like, delete yeah. stuff. Yeah. So then he comes over the next day, and I'm, like, actually, I want to go through your phone. And he's, like, oh, no, you don't want to do that. Like, don't you trust me? Like, all that stuff. And I was, like, yeah, I want to go through your phone. So then I get his phone eventually after all this back and forth, him trying to manipulate me. And he's like, okay, just one condition, like don't open any unread messages and don't go on my camera roll. So first thing, camera roll. What I else would you be yeah, looking at? Yeah, right. So, and then I um, see like the photos of him that night before when I was like, what are you like doing um, with another girl? And then I see a message come through. So I like open it and it's like, I love you, babe. And then I reply and I'm like, who are you? And she's like, what? Because I'm replying from yeah. his phone. And then she starts calling. So then I answer the call, run inside and lock him out. And I'm on a call with her for like three hours. Like we're just like piecing everything together. And the craziest thing is something so similar has happened to me before. Like where a guy has just like completely like two timed. And then all of a sudden I've like caught them out. And I've like been on the phone to the girl for hours. And like you just piece it together and you're like, wow. Like I dropped him off at your house and <laughs> shit like that. Like it's like, wow. wow. So yeah, he did that. And then... Um, yeah. Oh, and the, actually the other day he, well, it was a couple of weeks ago or something, he messaged me on, on TikTok because we had this viral TikTok. Um, and he, he was like, oh, now, you know, now that you're like rich and baller or whatever, like, do you think, um, you could give me some money from... Like, now that you're making so much money since, like, that TikTok oh, is, it for, is what is helped it, you. Is it for his cancer treatments? <laughs> exactly. Like, the stuff his medical insurance. Yeah. And, well, and the funniest thing is he used to, like, he told me that he was, like, owned all these houses and stuff. And he who, who was making himself sound rich, like, a building company and everything. And I was, like, snooping. Like, I looked up his address and I got someone who was in real estate to look up his address and see who owned it. And his parents owned it. He didn't own the places. And then I looked up another place, like another woman owned it. And I'm like, so many lies. And so my response to that was just like, aren't you rich enough yourself? That's all I said. And he's like, no, like not as rich as you. I'm like, I'm not even rich. Like, I don't know what you're on about. Wow. It was crazy. But the audacity to ask. I'm like, are you joking? He wants a payout from a viral TikTok because he thinks it's what kickstarted my career. 
Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year-long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better.